But first, we got to talk about these bombshell revelations coming out of Finding Freedom. It's the tell-all about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's romance and their decision to exit their roles as senior members of the royal family. It really covers... Everything Harry and Meghan from the beginning to where we are now. Uh, it's important to note that a spokesperson for Harry and Meghan released a statement ahead of the book's release on Tuesday saying that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were not interviewed and did not contribute to Finding Freedom. This book is based on the author's own experiences as members of the Royal Press Corps and their own independent reporting. That is really important to know. Well, we actually spoke with one of the authors from the book, from the book, Omid Scobie, Nichelle Turner, spoke with him and he explained how this story came together. Take a listen. Well, this book was really born out of unique circumstances. Uh, as I've said before, Harry and Meghan didn't take part in the process of this book or contribute any interviews. But mm -hmm. the situation that my co-author Carolyn Durand and I found ourselves in was that many of the friends that we approached to speak to to tell a side, a different side of the story, were so frustrated with some of the coverage they'd seen of their friends, particularly in sections of the British tabloids, that they felt that the people they were seeing on these pages were not their friends, not the people that they knew. And this was really a unique chance for us to help put, put a side of the story that wasn't necessarily out there or others that wanted to hear it. When I tell you that everybody has been waiting to get a hand, their hands on this book, we found out that not even Oprah could get an advanced copy of this book. And it's because because there's just so much royal tea, T-E-A, in this book about Harry and Meghan. Uh, beginning with, and we're going to break down just five of the biggest revelations that we've mm -hmm. read in the book, including more details on their royal exit. Now, of course, it, that was a bombshell in itself and very an unprecedented move by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle when they decided to step down as senior members of the royal family. Well, now the book is claiming that it was their website detailing their departure that actually caught the Queen and palace aides off guard after they had coordinated the initial announcement. Now, according to the book, quote, flustered Buckingham Palace aides ditched their original statement and put out a short media release 15 minutes after the Sussexes released theirs. Oh, wow. That is kind of mind-blowing. I remember when that Instagram post actually hit the internet. And mm -hmm. to know all of that backstory, if it's actually true, that's really interesting. Something else that stuck out to me was Kate and Meghan's relationship. You know, yep. the tabloids have put these two women up against each other for so long, but it actually detailed their first ever meeting. It says Meghan and Kate met in January of 2017, and the authors wrote that Kate had seemingly not shown much, much interest in finding out who this woman was who had made her brother-in-law so happy. A friend described Kate in Finding Freedom as, quote, extremely guarded, though it's noted that perceived coldness might not have anything to do with Megan. This rumor that I'm about to talk about is something that has been circulating for a while, and the author made it clear that he just wanted to put it to rest because it is further from the truth. Nothing is uh -huh. further from the truth than this specific rumor. And the rumor is that Meghan Markle made Kate cry during her wedding or during a dress fitting for her wedding. And the author says this is absolutely not true. A source who was at the fitting says that those in attendance found the stories of tears to be puzzling. But when it comes down to it, uh, the, the rumors of Megan and uh, Kate not getting along pale in comparison to rumors that the brothers themselves, Harry and William, don't get along. We, of course, have covered in the past their issues, but uh, we're learning in this book that a lot of the issues between the two brothers actually stem from finances. So uh, the brothers had to try to get their father, Prince Charles, to fund their projects and their endeavors, as well as expenses like Kate and Megan's wardrobes. And here's the thing to remember that, like, even though Prince Charles is their father, He's also their boss, and the book right. makes note, note of that, and that makes their relationship a little more complex for a number of reasons. But a source in the book adds, where you are born in this family dictates your position of power. And because of that, Harry has always come second to his brother, especially when it comes to funding. So there were times in the past when Harry wanted to take on bigger projects and do more work, but he couldn't get the money to support it. So William was always the priority. A lot of their quarrels, according to the book, have been over budgets. So right. that's a little surprising to me in the sense that like it it the any quarrels that these two might have had might have stemmed from more of a professional than 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 personal mm -hmm. you know business over personal 
Yeah, and that's I guess that's the downside of being a royal is that your personal right. life is your professional life. All of these revelations are just showing me how, I mean, being a royal is not as glamorous at all as what no. it appears to be. It One is a job. The, it's a job. Um, one of the notes that were mentioned in the book was Megan getting in trouble, not necessarily getting in trouble, but getting a call for wearing a necklace that had the initials H and M on it. A Kensington Palace aide called her, advising her against the decision as it would only encourage photographers, which is a good point. But the book says that after hanging up, Megan felt frustrated and emotional. And she knew the aide had good intentions, but it was just a surreal experience for her. Mm -hmm. Having someone tell her from her boyfriend's office what kind of jewelry to wear and not to smile at a photographer was just a bit much for her. And you have to imagine that that's just one tiny example of just, you know, the scrutiny, not just from the public, but also from your royal aides, you know, who, of course, are there to protect you, uh, to protect the royal family. But it's just a one of many, many things that I'm sure Megan was just picked apart about, you know. Mm-hmm. And so I, it, it, that's a lot of weight to hold on to your shoulders, you know. And that's why it's actually interesting to hear some really personal anecdotes, too, about like the, the lovely and happy times in their lives, like the royal wedding. Like, as we know, all eyes, all cameras, all people were all at this ceremony. You know, the whole world watched Prince Harry and Meghan Markle get married, but we did not get to see their second less formal wedding reception. And we're learning some new fun details about this special night, including apparently James Corden came in for some comedic <laughs> relief dressed as Henry the Eighth. The couple's first dance song was to Wilson Pickett's I'm In Love, and an American Southern band played hits including My Girl and Soul Man. Uh, You know, they had a live band, but they also apparently had some DJs on the ones and twos. DJ Sam totally played for the A-list crowd, and then, of course, this is the only detail I knew about the wedding reception Mm -hmm. was that Idris Elba took over for a one-hour set. Can you imagine how much fun that reception was, especially considering because it was so private? Yes, yeah, so much fun. I just can picture Megan and Harry dancing out to my girl in Soul Man. Huh. I wonder whose idea was that, but that was a great addition to this reception. I'm sure everyone enjoyed it. A nice little touch, right? A little soul, a little dancing. Who doesn't want that at their wedding reception? 